by God's mercies and Nwabobo's safe hands. That's how the Super Eagles of Nigeria defeated the formidable Banana Banana of South Africa. Sorry. That's how the Super Eagles of Nigeria defeated the Bafana Bafana of South Africa. Why was this a tough game for both teams? Full of headaches and heart aches. Was it because the Vice President of Nigeria had gone to see the match? Uh -huh. Or is it because our enemies had bewitched Osimen from scoring another goal in the AFCON? Uh -huh. Or is it because the Willy Willy the South Africans put their faith in disappointed them in the penalty shootout? Mm -hmm. In this video, we will relieve those moments of tension, heartache and triumph. Do not go away. Tension was the name of the game, every second of it. And this was because the Nigerian defense was the shadow of itself most of the first half. The Bafana Bafana outran and overran the defense. They harvested it like overripe mango. It was by God's mercy they did not harvest the gold. I want to harvest you. You are corn, no? We are very ripe corn. Now, how did the best defense in the tournament become what Banana Banana used to play 10-10? What was the problem? Problem number one. The South African forwards are fast-paced. The Nigerian defenders like to overlap. Now, do the math. As you would guess, the pacey forwards overran the overlapping wing-backs before they could recover their positions. Problem number two. The Nigerian back line was constantly outsmarted by the South African forwards who could always run behind them to receive a long cross and trouble the goalkeeper. Problem number three. The midfield failed in its duties to recover and hold the ball. It wasn't a surprise when Iwobi was the first of the guys to be subbed off. Coming up, a moment of joy will be turned into a heartache and despair when substitute Hassan Yusuf committed a foul in the 18-yard box. And also, tactical changes made by Persairo that would shock the world. We'll get into all this after the break. Half time. Hello, please take a moment to support our channel by liking this video. Also subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you always know when we post another video. Now, let's get back to the action. The second half. And Nigeria wins a penalty, courtesy of Victor Simen. And Drew Stekong converts nicely, sending Willy Willy to marry the post. It was our game, and our attackers kept raiding the South Africans. Their labor paid off in the 84th minute when the Eagles sliced through the Bafana's defense with a counter. Osai found Osimen, and Osimen found the net. Goal! 2 0. We had buried these guys. Yes, it was a clean goal. Nobody could fault this Osimen's goal. But wait a minute. What is the referee doing? A foul? Where? The goal is cancelled! A penalty is there to South Africa! Heart egg. While Ghanaians and South Africans rejoiced, we were served breakfast. I mean, hot breakfast. All of a sudden, things became hard. And things would have been harder in the sixth minute of other time if not for the mercy of God. From 2-0 to 1-1, to extra time, to the much dreaded penalties, but our God was not asleep. <laughs> we have not come this far to be sent home by the boys. We are the Eagles. And last I checked, God no go shame us. Yes, so our God no shame us. Just before the end of 90 minutes and extra time, Jose Pesairo made some tactical changes that would prove vital in Nigeria's victory. 
What play did this maestro make? You will find out soon as we discuss the Super Eagles' moments of triumph after the break. As the game drew to a close, the South Africans were prepared for penalties. They could taste victory in their breath. But little did they know that the Jose Mourinho's assistant had a joker up his sleeve. The introduction of Terry Murphy, Kelechi Hanacho, and Kenneth Moruo before the end of play will spell doom for the banana banana. But our moments of triumph cannot be told without the hero of the day, the man of the match, Stanley Wabali. His life-saving saves ensured Nigeria remained in the game. His experience in the South African League was vital to the team as he used it to neutralize the South African attackers. When he failed to save Mokoina's penalty, no one would have believed that Wabali would be the hero of the day saving two penalties in the shootout. Which brings us, friends, to our ultimate moment of triumph, the penalty shootout. It was a moment of panic and tension for the nation because of what we knew about Willy Willy. How he had conquered the men of the sea with four penalty saves. Jesus is Lord! Our hearts pounded in our chest and Nigeria had to take the first kick. The pressure was intense. This is what we dreaded. Willy Willy would use us to shine. Ghanaians would finish us on Twitter. Some of us started praying. You let me to pray! Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You shall finish it! Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! Close the hands! Close the hands! On South Africa keeper! On South Africa keeper! Close the hands! Even the bishop had to wear a winter jacket in Paris. What were you doing at this time, friends? Let us know in the comments below. And now, back to the shootout. The substitute, Terry Murphy, the first of Pesaro's Joker, was the first to come up. And he took Willie to the cleaners. Then it was Bafana Bafana's turn. Mokoina had the stage. He took it, but Wabali saved it this time. The unexpected had happened. Wabali saved it. Up next was Omeru, another of Pesaro's joker. We all held our breath. But Omeru rubbished Willy Willy without mercy. Now, hold on. Do you notice something? It was obvious that Pesaro and his team had done their due diligence on Rowan Williams. I had seen the way the keeper loves to dive to corners to save penalties. Now notice how Nigerian players placed their penalties at first, starting with Akon in the middle. And after they had rattled Willy Willy, they started going for the corners. Another superb tactical point for this OG coach we have all come to admire and respect. Now, back to the shootout. After Ola Aino has sent his penalty to the stands and Mwabali saved evidence Magopas, William Trustekong and Vala delivered Diaz, leaving the tally at 3-2. Then, it was the final kick for Nigeria. Kelechi Yanacho, Pesaro's final joker. The whole nation held his breath. Our prayers intensified. Oh Lord, have mercy. Ihanacho scored this one. And Ihanacho scored. Ihanacho scored. The match was won. Nigeria was true to the finals. The moment of triumph after a grueling 120 minutes of palpitating tension and heartache. Wabali, the hero of the night. And so we feasted that night on Ghana Jalof, met with Cameroon Pepe while listening to my piano. <laughs> if you know, you know. That is it, my friends. 
Thank you for sticking to the end. Please support our channel by liking this video. Also subscribe and turn on the notification button so you will know when we post another video. See you in the next video.